Hello everyone, welcome to Pantechy Learning. Today, let's see what is confusion matrix in machine learning. So, a confusion matrix is a matrix used to understand the performance of different classification models for a given set of test data. In machine learning, we have various classification models. And to solve a classification problem, you can use any of these models. But to evaluate which is best, we can use confusion matrix. Let's understand what this confusion matrix is. So this matrix is divided into two dimensions that are predicted values and actual values. Here the left side image is a representation of confusion matrix. On the x-axis it has the actual values and on y-axis it has the predicted values. The right side image is a confusion matrix from a machine learning problem. And on x-axis we have two classes 0 and 1. Same on the y-axis we have two classes 0 and 1. The difference is the x-axis has the actual values and y-axis has the predicted values from machine learning model. We can see the value 96 there on 0, 0 which is in actual value is 0 and the machine predicted value is also 0. So in 96 cases the machine predicted correctly. But below that in 23 cases the actual value is 0 but the machine predicted as 1. Same here on 1, 1 we can see 22. The actual value is 1 and the predicted value is also 1. So machine predicted correctly in 22 cases here. But in 13 cases, the actual value is 1 but the predicted value is 0. So machine miscalculated. So for this visualization, we can use confusion matrix. So how to create a confusion matrix? From sklearn.matrix, you have to import confusion matrix. To visualize it, we can use seaborn. We have to create a variable and then call the confusion matrix and you have to pass two arguments, true value and a predicted value. With the help of seaborn heat map, we can predict, we can visualize it. We have to pass the variable here and then you have to mention or not equal to true to actually visualize the number how many cases in the confusion matrix. Let me show you an example how we can compare the model based on, based on this confusion matrix. Let me open my Jupyter notebook. Here I have imported all the libraries here and I have imported the data set, it is a diabetes data set and you can see there are various features here and based on these features there is outcome either 1 or 0, there are 1 represents presence of diabetes and 0 represent absence of diabetes. So I have splitted x and y here and pre-processed the x fit transformed and then splitted for testing and training and then I have the first model I have imported here is support vector machine. I have used the model for training and then predicting the values and I have calculated the accuracy score here and then I have imported the confusion matrix and with the help of Seaborn I have plotted the confusion matrix here and you can see in 97 cases it predicted correctly the absence of diabetes that is 0 as 0 but in, 20, but in 22 cases it predicted wrongly it predicted 0 as 1 so in 22 cases it predicted that uh, for the actual value is 0 but the predicted value is 1. Same here in 23 cases it predicted correctly 1 as 1 but in 12 cases it predicted wrongly 1 as 0. So next what I have done is I have imported another model here which is random forest classifier. I have trained it and used for prediction and then with the help of Seaborn I have plotted the confusion matrix here and here also you can see in 90 cases it predicted correctly 0 as 0 and in 26 cases it corrected predictably 1 as 1 but in 19 cases and 19 cases it predicted wrongly. Similarly, here next I have imported decision tree classifier here and here I trained and predicted and plotted a confusion matrix and this model I have predicted 84 cases 0 as 0 and in 27 cases it corrected, correctly predicted 1 as 1 but in 18 and 25 cases it predicted wrongly. For this comparison and visualization, confusion matrix is useful. Also there are other features in confusion matrix. With the help of confusion matrix, you can actually calculate some of the parameters here. You can calculate accuracy, precision, sensitivity, specificity. Here the TN and TP represents true negative and true positive and FP and FN represents false positive and false negative. From this graph, 
we can actually calculate these values such as accuracy, precision, sensitivity and specificity. And that's it for today. I hope you guys have learned what is a confusion matrix. Thank you.